On May 7, 1999, the United States accidentally bombed the Chinese embassy in Belgrade, which led to 27 injuries and the deaths of three embassy employees. The United States missed the intended target due to faulty data. This lethal accident is an example of how bad data can lead to misunderstanding the operating environment, which in this case led to deadly outcomes. The detrimental effects of bad data are further heightened when introduced to artificial intelligence, also known as AI. In military circles, AI is the ability of machines to perform tasks that normally require human intelligence. These tasks include recognizing patterns, learning from experiences, drawing conclusions, making predictions, and taking action. AI depends on data. AI without data is like a car without gas. The framework for movement exists, but it is incapable of going anywhere without the proper inputs. This information should be particularly troubling for the Department of Defense as they are spending billions of dollars on AI research and development, but have not given the same resources to the data that the AI trains on. To understand why the quality of data matters, it is critical to look at the data cycle. In a perfect world, data is collected, labeled, and vetted. This data then goes on to train AI algorithms, and these algorithms produce results. The results often function as input data for other AI, and the cycle begins again. Conversely, if data is inaccurate or biased in any way, then those imperfections will cycle through to yield inaccurate or biased results. Based on the data processes currently in place, this data cycle is more reflective of the DoD's reality. Therefore, it is crucial that data is carefully considered and cleaned before being introduced to AI. The DoD already has AI elements in its mission support and enterprise efforts, but its goal is to incorporate AI into its operational tasks as well. It plans to do so in three ways. First, the DoD plans to integrate AI into battlespace navigation technologies. Second, the DoD plans on using operational AI to enhance U.S. threat assessment capabilities, thereby reducing risks to fielded forces. Third, the DoD intends to use AI to create multi-domain command and control, which would coordinate the seamless exchange of information between all four military services and all five battle domains. If the data that feeds operational AI is insufficient or inaccurate, then military leaders will misidentify their operating environment, which leads to two categories of negative outcomes. First, Flawed data can lead to misinformed decision-making, as seen in previously mentioned examples of accidental bombing of the Chinese embassy in Belgrade. Flawed data can also lead to manipulated operations. For example, someone could fool an artificial intelligence algorithm that is used to guard a top-secret facility by simply drawing a few dots on their face, which could cause the AI to classify their face as someone else entirely. Like the traditional data cycle, the DoD's data practices rest on three pillars, collecting, labeling, and vetting. First, the DoD collects millions of terabytes of data every day from its own internal sensors. When the DoD needs data that it doesn't have, it will buy it from the private sector. Second, because of its tedious and labor-intensive nature, Data labeling is often conducted by gig economy workers for as little as $1 an hour. When the DoD keeps the work in-house, data labeling is often done by employees without previous experience or expertise in data management. Third, the DoD vets data, but it does so somewhat inconsistently. While there is a strong focus on securing the hardware within which data is stored, there is no streamlined process for determining the veracity of the data collected. Outside of its standard practices, the DoD faces six primary data challenges that could make it more vulnerable to adversaries. First, many of the data sets created or used by the DoD lack context because there is no standardized way for data set creators to record a data's background. Second, 
the DoD collects dizzying amounts of data. So much so, in fact, that only about 5% of collected data actually gets to the analysts who you need it. Third, there is no clear enterprise-wide communication about what data is being collected, which leads to collected redundancy and blind spots in USG preparedness. Fourth, data projects are incredibly expensive to conduct, and projects that go over budget are often canceled before completion. Fifth, even if an office has a clean data set, it is unlikely to be interoperable because there is such a high number of specialized formats within the DoD. Finally, unnecessary bias can creep into the data that powers AI and negatively impact the algorithm's results. To counter these challenges, I propose the creation of a data clearinghouse. The clearinghouse would not be a bank for all DoD data. Rather, it would act as a standardized liaison between groups to increase communication about data and streamline data efforts. Groups that produce data can fill out a simple data pedigree form to accompany their data set and submit it to the data clearinghouse. Data consumers, on the other hand, who require data on a particular topic can search for relevant data sets and then submit access requests through the clearinghouse. The clearinghouse will then connect consumers to producers, all the while managing data profiles to ensure the information is up to date. The DoD, as a powerful purchasing and regulatory body, has unique capability and responsibility to establish data standards throughout the public and private sectors. The sooner that the DoD can capitalize on this opportunity, the faster it will be able to achieve its AI goals, as high-quality data sets are crucial to the DoD mission. Thank you.